we are turning to nannies more and more in real life. So how do you select the right one? Please welcome to the circle a number one nanny, Philippa Christian. Hey. Hey. I have a question because I, I obviously I don't have kids yet, but what is expected of a nanny these days? I mean, what sort of things are you supposed to do? Do you, you, do you have to clean and cook and do those things? Well, the role of a nanny these days, um, it really varies on the position that they um, are taking. Mm. So it's like a babysitter. A lot of people don't know the difference between a babysitter and a nanny. Um, babysitters are more so to sit. They, um, it's a casual sort of a job. They come on Fridays and Saturday nights maybe. Mm -hmm. And um, they might have to heat up some food or play with the children. Babysitters are usually younger. So um, they are willing to sort of run around with kids and have that fun time with them. Nannies, on the other hand, are seen as um, people that help run the house. I mean, these days a lot of mums are deciding to go back into the workforce. Yeah. And it's just such a great help. I mean, um, people that have child, children in childcare these days, they um, they spend the whole day at work, and then after work they've got to go to childcare to pick up their child, and they come home, and they've got to do the cooking and the cleaning and the ironing and the homework and get sure, make sure the school uniforms are and ready. Childcare is very expensive, yeah. and it's not very flexible. Yes, mm. that too. You know, if you have a nanny, yeah. my my babies have had a nanny since they were born, yeah. and in Brisbane we had this beautiful woman called Erin who ran our house for us and yeah. I couldn't have gone back to work without her. So, so did she, sorry, just so cooking and cleaning things like that also yeah. fall under the umbrella well, depending on... I think um, nannies are a great way to go because when you do have two parents that are working full time um, and you come home there can be groceries, the, full, the fridge is full of groceries, Dinner's, dinner is warm on the table, yeah, um, exactly. the children yeah. have been bathed, they've, they've done their homework and the, Therefore, the parent can spend quality time with their children. Rather than, rather than doing than... the boring stuff. Hallelujah! Yeah. Yeah. Now, just to give our viewers a bit of context, Philippa, you have worked as a nanny for years and you also train nannies. Yes. Um, what sort of, if you're looking for a nanny, if I were to look for a nanny, what, what's, what should I ask the person? Well, um, interviewing, I mean, a lot of interview, in a lot of interviews these days, people usually just ask the sort of main questions. What are your credentials? What mm. is your experience? That doesn't give us a good enough idea of what this person is like. Yeah. You have to ask things like, what would you do if um, you were in the supermarket and you turned around and my child had run off? What would you do? What would you do if my child was choking? You can ask these sort of oh, questions yeah. to put the put the nanny on the spot because really it's the sort of job where you are put on the spot all the time and you have to have someone that is going to think fast but also do the right thing at the same time.